about why some people do not get set free. Go back and pick up these and learn and, and, and take notes. Learn all you can from the past blogs. But this one today is the enemy has a person bound up so much they cannot hear the voice of God or the voice of men. 1 Samuel 25, 17 says, For he, talking about Nabal, is such a son of Belial that, he can't, that, that a man cannot speak to him. Think about this. This guy's got himself in such a bind that he cannot hear anybody's voice. I, I meet a lot of people like that in their life. The voice of human beings they cannot hear. And, 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 and they can't hear God speaking to them either. And so uh, this is one of the reasons why they're bound. The third reason is they refuse to forgive others. They, for, they refuse to forgive others. In other words, the Bible says they might, if they're not going to forgive, they've got to be turned over to the tormentors. That's why some people don't get set free, is because they refuse to forgive. I sit with people sometimes, and I'll say, look, is you got to learn to forgive people. The Bible says in Matthew 18, verse 34 and 35, after this, this lesson on forgiveness, and Jesus said, you got to learn to forgive. And uh, there was a rich man that another man owed him a lot of money. He forgave him of that amount of money. That man that was forgiven would not forgive somebody of a small amount. And the Bible says in verse 34, and his Lord was wroth. That rich man that forgave him of that amount of money was very angry and delivered him to the tormentors that till he should pay all that was due unto him. And then verse 35 says this, watch this, it says, so likewise shall my heavenly father, shall my heavenly father do also unto you, if you from your hearts forgive not everyone his brother the trespasses. So what's the point? The point is this, you will stay in bondage until you forgive. You will live in bitterness and torment, emotional tormentors. And listen, it's God the Father that does that to us. He turns us over to tormentors to where we, and to, why? To move us to finally forgive people. And so you're not going to be set free. You're not going to receive comfort until you're willing to forgive other people. Number four is God at times will sentence a person who refuses to be lowered and humbled and brought to the end of himself or refuses his comfort. So God, in a sense, in a way, he sentences people to a term of, of brokenness, a term of, of um, get, being down until it brings them to the end of themselves. The Bible says in Daniel chapter 4, verse 28 through 37, and all this came upon King Nebuchadnezzar at the end of 12 months. He walked in the palace of the kingdom of Babylon. So King Nebuchadnezzar was walking around his palace and it says, the king spake and said, is not this great Babylon that I have built for the house of the, the kingdom by the might of my power and for the honor of my majesty? He says, and while the word was in the king's mouth, there fell a voice from heaven saying, O King Nebuchadnezzar, to thee it is spoken, the kingdom is departed. So Nebuchadnezzar got full of arrogancy, full of pride. And God says, look, the kingdom is going to be taken away from you. And they shall drive thee from men, and thy dwelling shall be with the beast of the field, and they shall make thee to eat grass as oxen. God says, you're going to go live like an animal now. I'm going to take you down. God's doing this to him. And it says, and seven times shall pass over thee. That means seven years is going to pass. You're going to be, in, I'm sentencing you seven years to this place until thou know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will. So the point is this, is God will literally take us to a place to where, we, and he knows how long it takes. He's so sovereign. He, he literally knew it was going to take seven years to get this guy to humble himself. God knows how long to, to put you in a place to where you're willing to be broken. You know, the best thing for us to do if we're going to receive freedom and, and receive comfort is humble ourselves before God, cry out to God and say, I'm nothing. I need you. I want you. I cannot do things without you. What I have, you gave me. Arrogancy and pride will destroy you to where you will not get set free. Because why? Because you don't know, in, or in your mind, you think you can set yourself free. You can be victorious on your own. But God will bring us to that place. This is why some people don't get set free. We'll take up here next week. For watching today's Looking for Answer video with Pastor Marvin Smith, uh, uh, why some do not get set free, why some do not get comforted. The tragedies that you and I face that we've gone through through this life, the, 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 the hard times, the, the temptations that we've gone through, 
are all there to drive us to run to God for our comfort. Oftentimes we run to man, we run to ourselves, we run to whatever it is, trying to find some comfort. God is our comforter. And I want to encourage you today to do this right here, to know that all of our comfort comes through faith. Uh, recently, Pastor Smith, he preached a message on the faith-filled warrior. And if we don't learn how to battle through this life with faith in our life, it's just going to be tragedy after tragedy, and we're going to be constantly looking for other sources of comfort. So I want to encourage you to do this. Visit the, the church website there. It's hbcfd.com, and you can take and go to the store, and you can download the series there of Pastor Smith preaching the message, The Faith-Filled Warrior. It's an amazing series about faith in our lives as warriors. So listen, let's do this. Make sure that you don't miss the next couple of weeks. Make sure that you don't uh, uh, just hit and miss. Be faithful at uh, finding out about how we can be comforted because God wants to comfort us through his Holy Spirit. So don't miss out on the next few weeks. Have a great day.